Good afternoon, my name is Justin Smith with Paul Sherry Conversion Vans, and I'd like to thank you for joining us today. And I'm really excited to do this video for you guys today. This is our all new Ram Pro Master Conversion Van uh, with a Sherry design on it that we exclusively designed. Uh, been working with a, a converter who's been in the business for over 35 years to bring you this excellent product. Now the first thing you're gonna notice about this van is the unique shape, and I tell you, uh, it's very, very sleek, aerodynamic. Uh, this van is state-of-the-art uh, from the ground up. Starting off with the V6 engine, it's got a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 that is rated at 288 horsepower. And the best part about this van is the front drive. Uh, this van gives you a phenomenal ride and the fuel economy on this van is second to none. Not a conversion van on the market that can compare to the fuel mileage that this van will get. Now, moving along the side, you're gonna notice the signature Dodge stripes here on the side of the fender, uh, something that we designed. Uh, I think it dresses up this van really well. And this is our bright white color uh, with full tinted glass all the way around, full body paint on the mirrors, handles, raised roof, and also the running boards. Now, the, the wheels on this van, they are an American racing wheel, 18-inch wheel. Now, you see a 20-inch wheel on a lot of conversion vans this day, and we decided to go with an 18-inch wheel for two different reasons. First off, you get a way better ride on an 18-inch tire. You get a bigger sidewall, okay, with an 18-inch rim, and also to keep the cost down on replacement tires. So I think the customer will enjoy that. Now, moving around the back, you're gonna see that we do have the typical barn doors back here, but one thing I wanna demonstrate is the versatility of this door. Um, opens real easy and I'll tell you this door has two different positions it can be locked in. Now we have the biggest entry in the business here with our door opening all the way towards the front of the van and will lock in place. Okay now I want to demonstrate the the entry to the back of this van. Uh, this door is a little different than uh, what you're used to a 60-40 split door on a conversion van and uh, I think this is a better design and I'm going to show you why. Uh, you can enter this van, you've got a lot bigger access point to enter and exit. You have the option to go directly to the back of the van without having to enter the van and go down the aisleway. Um, and you can simply walk right in without crouching over. That's the best part. And, and typically you're going to notice a grab handle right here on your vans with the 60-40 door. Our grab handle's right here and it makes it very easy to enter the van. Okay, moving along to the back of the van. Uh, it's really tough for me to find one place to start back here. There's so much to talk about, so I'll do my best to make it short and quick. Um, the first thing you're gonna know, and let me talk about the seating a little bit, is we do carry a swivel seat in this van. Uh, you can swivel it 360 degrees which makes it very nice and it has two locking positions. Now it's gonna lock in a forward position or directly facing the rear sofa. So that really makes it nice for different uh, situations, whatever you might have going on in the van. Um, the, the blinds in this van are something that I really wanna talk about. I mean, we really took our time in designing this blind to make it a little different than what you're used to seeing. And one thing that you'll notice that it's recessed back inside some trim really dresses it up, really dresses this van up. Now the indirect lighting in this van, uh, really proud of that as well. Um, it's not your typical white light in the center of the van. Um, we did a blue rope light down the top on both sides, which can be turned on and off from any seat in this van, um, and also did an accent light down the side halfway up the wall to break this interior up. And one thing that you'll know is that we're, we've got black vinyl walls all down the side, split in half by a tan upper portion, and of course an all tan roof. Um, tied in with the dark wood black cabinets and the black wood trim all the way throughout the van. Very, very nice, very classy. Um, another thing you're gonna notice is our signature Sherry logo and all the headrests. Um, and that's gonna be on every van that we do produce here. Now getting to the electronics, um, probably the biggest and most important part to any conversion van. We do have the biggest TV in the industry. We do have a 32 inch Vizio. It's a 240 hertz LED television. So it's gonna give you the best available picture uh, that's out there. 
Um, and we do have that matched up with a Samsung Blu-ray player with all the available widgets such as your YouTube, Netflix, Pandora, and a few more. Um, really nice. Now that has to operate off of a hotspot feature for to, to connect to Wi-Fi and you can do that with any major smartphone. Um, now this fan does come with one set of wireless head, headphones so you can watch a movie without the rest of the company being disturbed with what's going on on the television. Now we do have a Pioneer surround sound speaker system in the back of this so the movies can be played through the surround sound system as well. Okay, moving along to the back of the van, I'm going to demonstrate uh, a couple key components back here uh, sitting on the rear sofa, in which is a two-piece power sofa will fold down into a bed and does have a sliding track to move forward and back as well. Um, just, just one of the first things I want to talk about sitting back here is the leg room. Uh, that's the most noticeable thing that, that comes to mind every time I get into one of these vans. I'm so proud of the width of this van and the leg room that we've been able to achieve with this van. Um, I mean, this is a seven passenger com conversion van, but you can truly fit seven seven footers in here. Nobody's going to be on top of each other. So it's just the, the room in this van is uh, second to none. Uh, moving to the armrest that on this van, this is a fixed armrest and you'll notice that we don't have armrests that fold down off the sofa. We wanted to go this route uh, to give you, a, a, we think it's a better arm position, okay? It's a wider arm rest, so it's a lot more comfortable. And also we incorporated a drink holder right in front of the arm rest as well. Now moving to the, the, the sofa, we, uh, we designed this sofa to be like three bucket seats. And you'll notice that it does have some contour to it for each individual. Um, you gotta kinda pick and choose on this. Do you want a more comfortable bed? or do you want a more comfortable sofa? And, and all the feedback that we've gotten from the customers over the years is that you know the sofa's in, in this position 90% of the time. So we really wanted to concentrate on making a, rear, uh, a comfortable rear sofa. Uh, in the past, nobody wanted to sit in the rear. They always wanted to sit in the captain's chairs. You're not gonna find that with this van. All the seats are extremely comfortable. We do have a full down armrest as well. Now, as I talked earlier, we do have privacy blinds, and I wanted to demonstrate they're in the rear of the van as well. They're on every window in the back of the van. And in between the Pioneer surround sound, you're going to notice the biggest storage compartment on this van. Very deep, uh, will accommodate some pillows and a couple blankets, whatever you want to put in there. And of course, we do have storage all the way around as well. Moving along to the front of this van, I'm going to go over all the basic amenities that come along with this as well as the radio system in this van. Now starting off with the radio in this van, it uh, is a fully integrated touchscreen radio, does have a Garmin interface navigation system in it, which makes it very user friendly, nice setup. Also has the capability to play a CD, and does have uh, all your AV inputs that you'd be looking for in a modern vehicle. Uh, you can connect your cell phone, uh, any MP3 player via uh, USB, or a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cord. Now this van does feature a hands-free calling system with the microphone located real, real nice here on the, the column, or on the pillar, I'm sorry. Uh, makes it real easy to make phone calls hands-free through your radio system, neat feature. Now getting to the basics of the van, uh, starting with the steering wheel, we have a really nice leather wrapped wheel with the leather on top and the bottom. And you'll notice a perforated leather here on the sides. Now the, the steering wheel is a telescopic wheel and with your uh, headlight switch located on the left, your cruise control and turn signals and your, rain shield, or your windshield wipers located here on the right. Now this van does have dual power mirrors. Uh, they are a heated mirror and they are a collapsible mirror all power as well. So if you ever got to get in that tight spot, you'll be able to do that by collapsing the mirrors. Now this van also does have power locks and a keyless entry system. Now, as far as the, the air conditioning controls go on this van, they're located directly underneath the radio. V three buttons here, very easy to uh, access and very easy to control. Now we do have a front rear and heat system in this, back, in this van as well, with the controls for the, the back of the van located on the left side of the dash. Now the buttons located underneath the air controls are what controls your fog lights, 
you have a um, on and off traction control button your hazard button is right here and then you have a power lock button located right on the dash as well and you can control the locks on the armrests as well now as far as charging goes in the front of this van you have two different options um, you do have a DC power input to charge that way and it does have a factory USB charging port as well so the nice thing about it with with the radio and the factory USB you can you can charge two devices up here via USB at the same time um, do have three cup holders located underneath the the rear radio or the front radio I'm sorry and uh, some storage options as well you do have a glove box in front of the passenger seat with a little storage tray and an additional cup holder located on the dash as well again my name is Justin Smith with Paul Sherry conversion vans and I want to thank you for joining us today and we hope that you like this uh, all-new 2014 Ram Pro Master conversion van done by Sherry Vans and if you have any additional questions or would like to see more information uh, please visit our website and uh, we ask that you like us on Facebook and please follow us on YouTube for a lot more videos to come. Have a great day.